Welcome back to True Host Academy. Ever wondered what to do if your public underscore HTML folder goes missing or needs to be created in cPanel? Don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to walk you through the simple steps to create it, even if you're new to all this. Let's dive in. So why is the public underscore HTML folder so important? Well, it's the home for all your website's files, the place where everything on your site is stored so visitors can see it. Without it, your site won't be visible online. Now, most hosting providers set it up for you, but sometimes things happen. Maybe it got deleted by accident, or you're migrating your site and it didn't transfer over. Whatever the reason, creating it is super easy, and I'll show you how. First things first, log into your cPanel account. If you're not sure how to do that, it's usually something like yourdomain.com slash cpanel comma and you'll need your username and password to get in once you're in look for the file manager icon you'll find it under the files section just click on that the file manager is like your website's control room where you can manage all the files and folders in the file manager you'll see a list of folders what you're looking for is the home directory, which is often named after your cPanel username. Go ahead and click on that to open it. All right, here's the fun part. To create the public underscore HTML folder, look up at the top menu in File Manager and click the plus folder button. A little box will pop up asking you to name your new folder. Type in public HTML. Make sure you spell it exactly like that. No spaces, no extra letters, and remember, it's case sensitive. Once you've got that, click the create new folder button. Now that you've created the folder, let's set the permissions to make sure everything works smoothly. Right click on your new public underscore HTML folder, and from the menu, choose change permissions. You want to set this to 755. This means you, as the owner, can read, write, and execute, while everyone else can only read and execute. It's the perfect balance between security and functionality. With your public underscore HTML folder ready to go, it's time to upload your website files. Just double click on the folder to open it, then hit the upload button at the top. From there, you can drag and drop your files or choose them from your computer. Make sure everything, your HTML files, CSS, images, goes straight into this folder. And that's it. You've just created the public underscore HTML folder in cPanel and uploaded your website files. Your site should be live and kicking in no time. Remember, the public underscore HTML folder is like the engine room of your website, so knowing how to create it is a skill worth having. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more tips like this. Thanks for watching True Host Academy and happy hosting!